Japan is clearly falling behind. A look around reveals that we are behind in everything, from the way we generate our energy to the role that energy plays in our economy. The catastrophe at Tokyo Electric's Fukushima Daiichi power plant in March 2011 continues to wreak havoc on countless lives, to contaminate both the land and the sea, and to compel the Japanese people to question our approach to energy. In Germany, the government quickly decided to move away from nuclear power. Prime Minister Merkel, who had previously taken a pro-nuclear stance, Fukushima had my Haltung zur Kernenergie verändert. But in Japan, Japan has made the promotion of nuclear power a national policy since the 1950s. The result, an economically and politically powerful nuclear village, a profit-generating machine with the electric companies at its center. Entangled in this network of vested interests, the government cannot separate itself from it. Several prime ministers who previously promoted nuclear power renewables in general are growing very fast. They are more than substituting nuclear power. We find in Copenhagen that it's important for us to take responsibility also on a global level. So we have set the target of becoming the first carbon neutral capital. I think right in front of us there's proof that there's life after nuclear power. Sacramento is a thriving community. People here are doing well, very economically strong. When you have a large convoy of trucks carrying fuel, that became a target for the terrorists. So we say saving energy saves lives. Japan has roughly nine times the high quality renewable resources of Germany. In order for Japan to not be left behind the rest of the world, we must have a true understanding of renewable energy and develop a strategy for its promotion.